Gedo underscore Gajo Hello guys, my name is Gedo Ramana and you can also follow me on Instagram the account is Ramana Gajo Hello guys, my name is Gedo Ramana and you can follow me on Instagram the account is Hey, what's up, you guys? It's voiceover princess back at it again. And yeah, I was supposed to film a short clip to insert here, but I have not been feeling the best, and that's also the reason why I have not been uploading um, as consistently as I usually do. And I apologize for that. I'm trying to recollect myself and be in a better mental state to actually form yeah so basically uh, this photo shoot was a stepping stone for me um for me <laughs> uh, it, uh, this was a way of me kind of accepting who i am and how i look and paving a way to a better version of myself and even if i don't reach that version of myself this was a way of me telling myself that um, it is okay to be flawed it is okay to be the way I am I must still love myself um, I just want to spread love and positivity at all times hence I invited other people and other ladies to come to this photo shoot with me um, yeah I just want them to know that with their flaws there's a lot of beauty um, and the flaws must not outweigh the beauty that is there um, which is something that I've always struggled to see within me and I'm learning to do that day by day um, and the support around, that you have around you is also very important I'm very grateful for my boyfriend for my friends for always encouraging me and yeah such things so I hope you guys enjoy the video. I don't want this to be too long because there's a poem coming after this. Um, that was written by my baby sister, Dez. Uh, thank you, Dez, so much for the poem. Poem. Uh, it is extremely beautiful. And I'd also like to thank a few people. Marcel Rola, I'd like to thank her for pulling through. I'll also link her YouTube video or YouTube channel down below. Um, Letabo, thank you for pulling through. Tuli, thank you for pulling through. Those were people that were taking some behind the scenes shots as well. Um, yeah, and was just there to support. So thank you so much. I hope you guys enjoy this video. And please stay till the end. <laughs> thank you. Love you guys. It's a brand new morning, but I woke up feeling the same. Overridden with emptiness and fatigue slowly becoming my name. I yearn so much for solitude, but on some days it consumes me. I get out of bed after a solid 10 minutes of contemplating my existence, after asking myself if any of it is worth it. I spend most of the day going through the motions. I make my bed and brush my teeth. I greet my neighbors and I smile at the trees. I say I'm okay when I'm not. I avoid making friends, or oh, maybe it's that I forgot exactly how to be myself so it's better to stay seated in my shell. They say they love me, but anxiety says they're out to get me. My heart yearns for human connection, but something won't let me. Something refuses to let me let them hurt me, so I hurt myself with assumptions instead. 
I am broken and lying there with no idea who made me this bed. I wish I was shallower instead. It's 3 or 4 a.m. and I've spent a good amount of yesterday trying not to cry. I'm driven by emotion, but if anybody asks, it's insomnia. I've been accustomed to lying. I don't remember the exact point I started running. I ran so far away from me with no idea what was becoming. Have you ever run so far away that you forgot what to return to? I've been battling with myself for years and this fight has not been in vain. My gods are really sharp. I protect myself in isolation. I try to meet the world halfway, but at the end of the day, I do not belong in a world that deems it okay to teach me how to bury wounds I want to heal. A world that rejects me, but calls my virtual reality real. I do not long to fit into any of your boxes. I am satisfactorily undefined. My name is mine and your labels are fine, but my soul could never be confined in any essence that qualifies them to define me. My brain is wired with questionable schemas and conventions. I'm not sure if I should mention that melancholy has an eternity of overstayed its welcome in this heart of mine. I'm not sure how else to apply myself in a world that mistakes kindness for weakness and uploads hideous cruelty with success. My thoughts are constantly racing. My empathic nature connects me with the thoughts and emotions of others, so loud that it almost suffocates my will for this existence. I am stunned by the descriptions of me I hear in the streets. The relentless difference has always bothered any part of me that serves to follow in the direction of how I am seen. To some I have been kind and to some I have been mean. When sadness becomes the first thing I anticipate from man, I may never really know. But how sadness filters my view, I can never really show without arousing empty affirmation. It is with defined dedication that I remain in isolation. My soul never forgets to mention that alone I can avoid all kinds of tension. Forgive me if I left. Forgive me if I leave. It is hard to stay and harder to love without fear.